I believe our federal government has gotten out of control. We are going off a cliff right now. The, the Senate in the United States in particular, as I said, is, the, is a place where good ideas go to die. I can't believe how dysfunctional the place is. I can't believe it. I mean, you know things are bad in Washington when even a sitting U.S. senator is bashing the place. Ballots for Colorado's August 10th primary are already being mailed in, and polls show an electorate angry and frustrated at the federal government. I don't care for anybody that's really tied into Washington. All four Senate candidates are trying to capitalize on that discontent by positioning themselves as outsiders looking to reform a broken system. What does it take to get rid of Michael Bennett? You're looking at Perhaps the biggest beneficiary of Coloradans' sour mood is Ken Buck. Embraced by the Tea Party, the Weld County District Attorney has surged into the lead in the Republican primary against former Lieutenant Governor Jane Norton. He has done so by tying Norton to the dreaded E-word. She is an establishment candidate. Buck points to Norton's endorsements by Washington power brokers as proof of her insider status. When you get your money from uh, the Washington, D.C. lobbyists, you are going back there to do their bidding. When you get your funding and, and your direction from the, the grassroots, you are going back there to represent the people of Colorado. Norton bristles at the charge that she is part of the establishment machine. She touts her experience in government as proof that she is the best candidate to reform spending. I believe that they want somebody who's going to go back to Washington and do what they say they're going to do. Are they truly about limited government and cutting budgets, or they, do they just say that to get elected? Colorado's Republican Party consists of many moderate conservatives, and Norton's best hope is that she can portray Buck as being too extreme. Buck himself has aided her in this effort with a few ill-timed verbal gaffes. Here's Ken Buck caught on tape. Why should we vote for you? Why should you vote for me? Because I do not wear high heels. <laughs> Play that again? I don't think it's befitting of a U.S. Senate or a U.S. Senate candidate. Those remarks to many people were offensive. Norton has come back. She has uh, uh, lots of resources. She is buying a tremendous amount of radio and TV, along with direct mail and robocalls, that I think probably is making this a close race. In the shadow of the Republicans' contest, Democrats find themselves in the midst of their own contentious primary. The frontrunner in that race, U.S. Senator Michael Bennett, is arguably the least experienced politician on the ballot. Uh, I was thinking as I was riding over here, I've got my ballot in front of me, I haven't looked at it yet. This is the first ballot that I will have ever seen that has my name on it. Bennett, the former superintendent of Denver's public schools, was appointed to the Senate last year after Obama picked Ken Salazar as his interior secretary. Bennett has since picked up the administration's full endorsement. Former state speaker of the House, Andrew Romanoff, an ardent Obama supporter, nevertheless slams Bennett as a tool of the establishment. I will not owe my seat uh, to the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee uh, or to any of the folks in Washington who did their best to uh, destroy my candidacy and, and my reputation. Romanoff has been trying for the last uh, two weeks to get some traction uh, with, with attacks against Bennett based on his, uh, in uh, Romanoff's view, coziness with uh, Washington um, uh, power brokers, with Washington interest groups, with Washington political action committees, with Washington corporate interests. His problem has been, by and large, uh, the lack of resources to make that a huge advertising campaign. The funding issue has been a central part of Romanoff's campaign. He has compared his decision to eschew corporate and PAC money to Barack Obama's in 2008. But he's failed to duplicate then-candidate Obama's fundraising success. Hey, everybody. For his part, Bennett is working to introduce himself to an electorate that has never voted for him and to solidify his position as the outsider's insider. I think people can distinguish fairly easily, and it's been my experience that they do distinguish very easily, between a narrative that says, here's an incumbent that's been around for two terms or three terms or whatever, and here's somebody who spent their whole life running for office, and here's somebody who's really new to the job and who brings a set of experiences from outside of politics to the job. Once the primaries are over, expect the anti-Washington rhetoric to get even louder. Just two years ago, Colorado was in the throes of Obama mania. But with the president's favorability rating in the state now in the low 40s, and Congress is even lower. The exuberant days of hope and change are starting to feel like a faded memory.